In the last video, we talked about, or I talked about, ambition. I think your intent should be ambitious. And in order to put that into place, I think you need to dream it. You need to see, hear, feel what it is going to be like for your children to build on the, build onto it what they're going to learn. So I encourage you perhaps to have a big piece of paper and start scribbling your ideas. You know, if your ethos was put in place perfectly, what would it look like, sound like, etc.? What will your environment look like? You know, the environment is a teacher. How will you present that? What resources will you have? Dream that. That's the dog. She loves me talking to the wall. <laughs> your environment. How will it be organised? What sort of resources will you have? Inside, outside. Think about the staff that you ideally would like to employ. Their attributes, their personalities, their experience, what they stand for, their values. Then you've got your parents, your paying customer. What do you want to provide for them? Ideally, what would you like your parents to contribute to your setting? And what would you like to contribute to their to their, uh, how can I put it, to their view of partnership? How would you like to uh, enable whatever it is, whatever your ambition is, how will you enable that to happen? Then of course you've got external pro professionals that you work with, speech and language therapists, perhaps uh, paediatricians, social care, health visitors, what's your ideal relationship with them and what do you want or what do you hope they're going to contribute to your dream and then of course you've got your external community, those people that work around your setting, those people who are associated with your setting because they're a relative of one of your parents perhaps. How do you incorporate them how will they be able to give extra learning opportunities on which your children will learn? Really think about this because this is the basis, your dream for your intent. It's your vision of where you want to go to. And that is very important because nothing in early years stands still. And if we have a path, or if we have an end to where our path is leading us, then I think we do a better job. I hope that helps. Certainly gives you something to think about. <laughs>